I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I'm joined by Sean Jackson from the Ross Trevor Old Collegians Football Club in Division 1, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So we'll just go through the results from the weekend. Only Mercedes Jets had a good win over Henley by 23 points. Adelaide University defeated Port District by 15 points. Paynham Norwood Union defeated Prince Alfred Old Collegians by 16 points. And Tea Tree Gully got over Goodwood Saints by 29 points. And Ross Trevor Old Collegians had a good win over Salisbury North by 5 points. Obviously a pretty pleasing result. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a very even competition at the moment. On any given week, any side's capable of beating any other. And I guess we didn't go in as favourites yesterday, but uh, it was a terrific game of footy. Close all day and we got up by five points. Yeah, tell us a little bit about how the game played out. How did you see it? Um, well, it was a pretty windy day and we had first use of the breeze and we're in front at quarter time. Um, then they came back at us at half time. I think they were a goal in front at uh, half time. Tied again at three quarter time, a goal the difference and um, we were able to hang on in the last quarter. So yeah, it's a game that could have gone either way, but um, we were lucky to be the, in front of the final siren. Yeah. Who were some of your better performers on the day? Um, I look, I clearly the best player on the ground and um, you know a, a guy who's um, recognised around amateur league. He's won a couple of uh, medals, four best and fairest is Craig Holm. He's taken a while to get going this year. He's had a pretty nasty ankle injury last year um, and he was in a moon boot for 10 weeks. So he's taken a while, but just getting through the first half of the year and having that break has freshened him up and he, he was terrific yesterday. He was easily the best player. Yeah, OK, well, we'll just move on to next week's games, if I can just get a tip on each game. Uh, Goodwood Saints take on only Mercedes Jets at Goodwood Oval. Yeah, this will be a beauty. Um, no real clear-cut favourite. I guess I'll go for Goodwood because they're on top of the ladder, but only Mercedes obviously play well against Henley, so could go either way, but I'll go for Goodwood. Yeah. Um, Paynham Nord Union take on Henley. I think Paynham will win that one. Henley are struggling a little bit with injuries, so I would imagine that's at Paynham that Paynham would win that one. And Salisbury North take on Port District. Obviously got a good look at Salisbury yesterday. Yeah, I did, and uh, they're a good side, Salisbury North. I think they'll beat Port Districts. Yep. And Adelaide University take on Prince Alfred Old Collegians. Well, this could go either way. With Princes having a, an upset win, I guess you'd say, uh, an upset loss, I should say, to Paynham on the weekend. Um, but I still think Prince Alfred's got the best list in the competition, so I'll go for Prince Alfred there. Yep. And you head out to Tea Tree Gully, Ross Trevor versus Tea Tree Gully. Obviously be expecting to stay on the winners list. Yeah, it would be nice. They uh, towed us up in the first game of the year pretty comprehensively. So we look forward to trying to produce a bit better effort than we did round one. What do you think the keys are to producing a better effort? Um, I'm just trying to develop some consistency with the guys from week to week. is a difficult thing in itself. Um, and I guess for us, the problem has been about continuity with guys playing week in, week out. So if we can settle the side down a little bit, I think we'll see some rapid improvement. Um, so that's probably the main thing for us, just to try and settle the side down a bit. Yeah. And despite getting the win yesterday, was there anything in particular you saw that you think you need to improve on this week in readiness for the game against Tea Tree Gully? Oh, look, you're always looking for ways to improve, and I guess for us it's uh, just our finishing with the ball. Our, uh, our work inside and our toughness around the ball has been terrific all year. Um, just trying to get the bikes to execute with the skills a bit better than we have been, I think that's the main area of focus for us. Yeah. And you mentioned how tight the competition is earlier. What are your overall expectations for the rest of the season? Oh, there are no expectations. As I said, I think it's really going to come down to the competition so even. I think it's going to come down to the, the sides that are able to keep their best players on the park and limit the amount of injuries they have will be the side that, um, you know, on any given day, I think if, um, you know, if you've got three or four players out and you're playing a side that's got everyone up, then you're going to struggle. So the challenge is, is, is medically for all of us, and I, I guess to stop guys going overseas on holidays as well. <laughs> OK, thank you, Sean. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Footballer magazine. Today I'm joined by Sean Jackson from the Ross Trevor Old Collegians Football Club in Division 1, and he's done our weekly roundup.